Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Well, we are in Australia still. We're in the Opals right now and we have a run up to Kuladi today. Now I do have a custom trailer in here. It is a quad road train. It is absolutely massive. But first we'll talk about the truck. It is a Max Superliner by KI Shadow Walker 3D Modeling. It is a payware truck. You can grab it on the store there for $30. I'll have a link for it in the description if you want to do so. So today it should be a pretty rough drive. Um, we're taking a lot of off-roading uh, as far as getting to Kuladi. We can't waste any time because this is a one to two scale map. So let's fire this thing up. Now the engine sounds on this uh, Superliner aren't too bad. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the actual one once it gets rolling, but I'll let you listen to it when we fire it up here. There you have it. It's time to go road training, right? And just to show you, I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. This thing is really, really, really long. It is legitimately a road train. And um, some people last time said uh, you need more than three for some road trains, but that's actually not really too correct because most of the road trains you see are only three. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the interior of the Superliner, it is a right-hand drive truck. You can have that option for it. So we have a true Australian uh, kind of field today, except for my shifter is on the right-hand side. That's just because it's a pain in the ass for me to move that shifter over to the left-hand side. I would welcome the challenge, but there's really no reason for it, you know? We got our motion platform working today, so it should really kind of kick us in the butt here. I'm going to double clutch this one right here since we're on an off-road section. Well, we're going to be off-road all day, but you know what I mean. The truck is 535 horsepower. It should be enough. Now, what's interesting is when I have this mod in here, this is by SWR Modding, and a big thanks to them for uh, allowing me to grab this particular trailer. It's pretty awesome. And if you are interested in their group, I will have their Facebook linked in the description below as well. They're a pretty private group, so I don't know how many members they're going to allow in, but it is kind of up to them. It's, it's not up to me at all. But that's where I got the trailer from. Now, the trailer itself, uh, I can't get any cargo runs on it currently. I think it has to be added through the map, the definitions do. So, yeah, looking on that left-hand side there, you can just see that massive train getting right on around there. No problem. Let's get up through our next gear here. I'm just going to double clutch for right now so we don't stall this thing. But we'll go to the outside view so you can get a good look at this thing here. Absolute unit. And look at the, the high beams on this thing. I have all these lights on it for nighttime driving. And we will do a nighttime drive before too long. Don't worry. That is still planned. All right, I've been taking some of your advice on driving these big, massive trucks. Okay, we were not even in that gear, were we? Nope. No, we are. All right, so I've been taking some of your advice on driving these big, massive trucks. And I'll stick to the middle section of the road until we get to, you know, if there's cars coming and stuff. That's what... Most of you said that um, that's what they do. Another thing is we need to get some speed up and going here. On these dirt roads, we need to be carrying 50 kilometers an hour. And then, you know, the max you can go is 90 kilometers an hour, I was told. So there is that as well. But we're just going to, you know, take it easy. Try to get this thing up to speed. It's going to be a quite a drive today, I have a feeling. Not sure what to expect. Now, I made sure that, you know, there's no rain because where we're going to Kuladi hasn't had rain in like an insane amount of years and when we get closer to Kuladi I'll let you know that the place is only I think it's a population of three the town is and they all live in the gas station there which is pretty crazy oh, man we'll be right up next to these rocks that's okay though that's why we're sticking to the center here all right I'm getting there around uh, you know this thing's getting up to 50 something kilometers an hour that's not bad at all honestly Watch out for these rocks here and around this corner. But yeah, we're, I mean, we're making decent time here. We'll slow this puppy down just a little bit here. It's kind of scary. Use the Jake brake there. We don't want to smash into these rocks if, uh, you know, if we, we don't have to. That'd be absolutely catastrophic. And we have more up here. So even with that guard in front of us there, it's kind of limited visibility after a while. Let's drop this thing down into this gear. Get some speed back in the truck. 
I just need to watch out for these massive rocks that are all over this place right now. Doing a pretty good job of keeping my head, you know, still with track IR because normally it would really mess with it whenever we're in, you know, such bumps. But it's not too bad. I turned it down, the sensitivity down on this drive so it won't be like, you know, catastrophic <laughs> for our, for you guys watching it. Man, let's get the, around those things, no problem. Wow, 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 there we go. We got that smashed out half car over here on the right. Interesting. I might move my uh, seat forward a little bit more and adjust it a little higher so we can just see over that. But it's, it's actually not a bad spot but I might end up moving my seat forward. But we got a lot of driving today, so this is gonna be probably a longer video, but I really wanna showcase this map this map mod. And if you wanna check out the map mod, literally $3 on Patreon uh, to Rob that made this map, and uh, you're, you're helping him out, you know. He does, he, he puts a lot of time and effort into this thing, so any little bit you have uh, definitely helps when it comes to the Patreon page. And he's still working on it. In fact, he was inspired by my last video I did of the kangaroo, you know, popping out like it was. And he wants to add more wildlife and do things like that. So, very cool to have Rob, um, you know, making a mod like this. Because I remember it was, you know, a couple years ago when I was watching Australian, or I was watching Outback Truckers on Netflix. And it's still on Netflix if you want to watch it. And... I never thought that we would be this far today, but we have a Australian Outback map. I'm in a Max Superliner on the right hand side here, doing 50 something kilometers an hour on a dirt Australian road with a massive road train behind me. Never saw that one coming. I really didn't. But it's pretty cool to have it. That I gotta say. I'm pretty blown away by it. Anywho, happy Friday to all of you. I hope you had a great week. And who is ready for the weekend? I'm sure a lot of you are ready for the weekend. Another uh, thing some people told me in my last video is that I didn't let the truck wind up enough as far as the engine goes. Now, when you get the Superliner from uh, Chaos Shadow, when you get that one, you go in to the engine options. There's only Mac op engine options there. I need to download some Mac sounds for it or something. But that's not too bad now once we're up to speed. And I know I'm doing like 60, but I'm gonna be doing that because we got a long drive today. Like I said, you know, it's a one to two scale map. But anywho, getting back to it, the engine specs are Australian engine specs. So that's really cool um, that you're pretty much good to go with all of that stuff. Now I did buy another one. I bought another truck from RTA Modding. Uh, it was 20 bucks for the truck, and it's the uh, Kenny. It's the Kenworth, uh, the T908, I think is what, what it is. So last time we were driving the 408, the 908 is like the one that you just see everybody road training in lately. If you, you know, Google it and you see a truck like that, you're like, okay, yeah, that's, that's an Australian road train. It's pretty awesome. So if you want to check that out, uh, I'll be doing a video on that before too long. Now... I haven't decided since we don't have a delivery per se on this one, we might end up doing half of the rest of this trip at night because remember I said I wanted to see what it was like at night? I think it's gonna be absolutely terrifying, but um, it's worth a shot, right? I think it'd be pretty cool. So we're going down the road here. I'm gonna keep her up to speed because right now the road conditions aren't too bad. I'm just keeping it right here in this six high because we have an 18 speed Eat fuller shifter in here. You see it down there, pretty cool. You do have an option in the the build for the truck. There's tons of options for fog lights and you can customize the truck kind of however you want to. But I really wanted to, um, I, I wanted to make this one kind of look like ones that I Googled. So you may see this one and go, hey, I've seen that one before. Or if you Google it, you'd be like, I know what that one looks like. I got a heavy inspiration from one of those pictures for this particular road train. And with the trailer, there's so many cargo options of what you could put on the damn thing. It's it's pretty darn cool. Getting her up to speed. I don't see any rocks or anything, so if we get on the next straightaway here around this corner, we're gonna go to the outside view so you can see this thing absolutely 
destroying the landscape here. Oh, what do we got up here on the left? We got some more burnt out vehicles. Very, very common on these roads too. Like it's pretty crazy how realistic some of this stuff is. And a bunch of stuff over there on the side of the road. Very nice. I mean, this thing is incredible. Let's do the old honk here. Not the greatest sounding horn, but it is a horn. It does work. So another thing is that Rob told me I had the mod load order wrong for this map. This map has its own physics, so you have to place this map at the very, very top of your mods. If you don't do that, you're not going to get the physics from it. That's the reason why this one is so much more bumpy and it feels more alive today than last time because I had that at the very bottom and some of the things were kind of getting in the way of the physics. So I'm definitely feeling like I'm going down an, <laughs> an outback road today. And this is just absolutely marvelous. I absolutely love it. Get another burnt out truck and then a dip coming up here. All right, let's slow down. Oh yeah, we're all right. I was making sure we weren't going out like into water or something. I know somewhere on this map there's water you have to cross. And we might actually see that today on this this run. I didn't, you know, run my camera way up ahead to check or anything. But this is the road. This is the most, like, off-road, longest stretch of off-road that I've seen in the map. And what's really cool is Charleville is going to be coming down the road. And Rob told me he's putting a lot of work into that thing because it's going to be a city. And he wants to make it pretty authentic, you know, especially when you're working with the one to two scale. That makes sense. This is so freaking cool, man. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I am definitely this weekend going to be jumping in VR and I'm going to be an Outback trucker right here. Oh, it's just what a great time we live in right now to see gaming where it's at. It's pretty darn cool. All right, we got a little bit of a bend here. We're going to be making a right-hand turn to the first town. So this wasn't too bad of a drive so far. Made a little T here, so let's slow down. You know what? I don't even know if they would even use a Jake brake on the dirt. They might. I mean, use what you can get. <laughs> Whatever you can get to help you slow down. All right, make a right turn here. And we have a little town up here that we're going to be coming into. I'm not sure the, I forget the name of it. I think it starts with a J. Yeah. Jonan's something. Oh, it's one of the Opals, okay. Let's get around here. Oh yeah, that thing went right around that corner, no problem. I've got the pedal to the metal right now. I could, you know, I could drop it down, but that's all right. I'm taking her easy here. Oh, there it went right there. You can feel those wheels spin too, which is pretty neat. If you get up really, really high in the RPM range, it takes a little bit of grip. You have to slow down and grab your grip again. Okay, what we got up here? This is the town that we're coming through. I don't know what to expect. I don't see any water or anything, so I think we're good as far as that goes. There's a place to sleep over here. That's about it. Pretty darn cool. Is there any buildings over there? Yeah, there's a little house and stuff there. And, you know, speaking of the little houses and stuff, I wanted to talk about that. This map, whenever you go to your garages, they're not like a big, huge you know, prefab of what the garages are in American Truck Simulator. He made custom houses and stuff, and <laughs> that is such, such neat. What is this rue crossing up here ahead? Okay. I mean, we would never want to hit a, hit a kangaroo, right? Why would we want to do that? <laughs> and it says they're, they're out here, out and about, so we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Now, currently, they're not a collision, but that could change. He hasn't figured out how to make them collisions yet. Oh man, we got some driftwood or something up here in the middle of the road. 
Not driftwood. What am I talking about? <laughs> driftwood. Yeah, that's what, what it is. No, dead wood in the road here. We are in the middle of nowhere. Why would... Yeah. Don't, uh, don't pay attention to me. Oh, this is so cool, man. I, I think I'm going to get a little bit of a... Uh, I'm going to get some fatigue today from this seat, you know, bouncing me around. And if you're wondering how I'm bouncing around, ooh, another burnt out car over here on the left. My whole rig is by Next Level Racing. And I want to let you guys know, if you want to win, you have a chance to win a FG, or the uh, the light version. The FGT light, I think is what it's called. And I'll have a link for that in the description below. You can just go there and just follow the instructions and you can you can win one of those. Okay, we got another big, huge set of something up here. I'm going to slow down. I don't know what the hell this is. This is getting interesting. Okay. Let's throw her into fourth gear here. Uh, maybe into the third. Nope. I can't find a grinder. Get into the gear there, buddy. Okay, we're good on that side. Yep. I want to hit that big, huge trunk. Yep, let's kind of ease this way. Give ourselves plenty of room. Okay, so this slows you down big time having to deal with this. Yeah, that thing is going to be fine right there. Yep. Just got to watch this thing over here now. I don't want to put it into the ditch either. Okay, we're good. Just double clutching there. I don't want to miss my shifts and get stuck. And we're good back there. All right. <laughs> so cool, man. All right. we Oh, missed another shift. That, whenever I try to float the gear, that's where I'm missing. So I'm not going to float the gear. I'm going to just double clutch probably today. All right, we got another big piece of wood up here in the middle of the road. Just watch out for that. Watching out for ruse, and we're watching out for wood today. Didn't expect this on the trip, but you know what? I haven't spoiled myself. As badly as I've been wanting to just drive on this map, I have not done it because I don't want to do it without you guys along for the ride because it's pretty darn cool. All right, fantastic. So yesterday was Thursday. I didn't uh, do my iRacing race because we got tickets to go to a Cinebistro in Tampa. I've never been to a Cinebistro before. It was really, really good. Re highly recommend it. Um, but we went to go see Bo Burnham's Inside. Now, I've seen it like a bajillion times on Netflix, but it was a one-night-only theater release, and we went and saw that. And it was pretty cool to be in a theater full of people that have some it was like half and half half people have seen it half people have not and if you haven't seen it you're you're missing out although maybe that humor doesn't find you i don't know it's it's not like a comedy special it's got some comedy in it but it's like just such a piece of art like bo burnham really really pulled all the stops out on that one pretty darn cool all right we get a change of scenery here Crank her back up the speed here. Oh, man, I'm feeling big bumps there, man. That is some big bumps. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> this, yeah, this is awesome, man. And I'm noticing, like, in certain parts, I'm, I'm feeling the accelerator just go. And, it's like, like, you'll see the RPMs just shoot up. And I'm not shifting gears or anything. It's just the change of the elevation. really well modeled all right we'll do some more outside view action I'm gonna move my camera my seat a little further forward and you know what honestly we might see the nighttime before we even get to cool Addy, so that's pretty cool I seat forward now so I don't feel like I'm way behind that that panel there this is much better I can see a little bit more too which is nice we're still making pretty decent time let's have a look here 11 26 a.m. went to 11 25 I mean 34 kilometers 27 minutes out so yeah well you got 27 minutes probably pretty close to real time 
So this shouldn't be too long of a video. Ah, uh, it's still gonna be a pretty long video. <laughs> but I don't care because this is amazing to see. It truly is. But we might change the time of day um, once we get a little bit closer to where we're going so we can just see what it looks like at night, you know? Do a little bit of night driving, do a little day driving. Got a big, huge dead tree here on the left. Hello. Hello. That's a lot of bumps. A lot of bumps. Okay, now. So, yeah, anywho. Next level racing. I told you you could you could uh, win one of their little cockpits. I will have that link in the description below if you want to check it out. But I use the GT track by Next Level Racing. Ooh, we got a burnt out truck up here on the left. That's cool. I've seen this on the SES maps. Half of a car and a destroyed truck that tried to make it to Cool Addy at no. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's big bumps. Those are some big bumps. And no such luck. A little more speed in this thing. Come on. There we go. Jumping into that gear. Okay, what's this up here? I'm slowing down because this looks like a, a hill, doesn't it? What? What in the hill? <laughs> okay, I think it was just a optical illusion. I'm just making sure I'm not like blasting in here at like 60 miles, you know, 60 kilometers an hour and just smashing into stuff. Really trying to not do that today. <laughs> well, it's getting more technical because we have some turns coming up here. To get around this, slow down, slow down, slow down. It is crazy how long that, that train is behind us. Pretty big. But yeah, I mean, most of the road trains that I've seen are, you know, it's the standard ones are the three. So I did buy a livestock trailer for, uh, for doing this. And that trailer, I have to level up to a certain level before I can use it, which kind of sucks. So... <laughs> Have to wait for that. What is it? Oh, this might be the water up here on the, the river. I mean, we'll see. I thought I'd see something around the corner. Is it a road or something? We got dip here. Okay. Uh, this might be the river. This very well could be the river. That is a massive river. <laughs> Look at the spray, the water spray on this thing. This is insane. I guess we're just going to give her hell. All right. It was nice knowing y'all. Oh, through we go. <laughs> That's bumpy. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh my God, that was cool. That was really cool. I'm gonna have to go back and, uh, and get a screenshot of that one. I am, I am. That's right, we're just kind of cruising along here. That was really cool. Oh man, wow. Okay, we're at Homeburn. All right, well, let's pull in here, and then I say we go into the night and drive a little bit at night and just see what it's like, you know? And if we don't like it, we can always turn it off. All right, Red L Bards. Groceries and feed. That sounds about right. Look at this big, huge road train. <laughs> I love it. Well, all right, it is nighttime now, so let's fire this thing up and get on the road. There's our lights there. Is that all of our lights? Yep, that's all the lights there. And then we have our, our brights, which it's not a whole lot there, but it's still a little earlier in the day. So let's go ahead and uh, start rolling out. Alright, let's try out this map at night. Ooh, there's Rue crossing up here. I don't know if we're going to run into any, but that's what they're saying. There's a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. They got to back off that accelerator every time I'm spinning them tires. We're still good, though. Yeah, it's very ominous at night. 
out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, if I turn my brights off, you can see, like, we can't see that far, but those do add quite a bit of lighting. And I added a bunch of lights to it, too. But, you know, you could add a lot more. I'm sure, you know, it would be probably necessary if you wanted to see even, even more at night than we are currently here. So we'll drive through the night. We're going to just kind of act like we're, you know, driving a long distance here. So we'll drive in the night for a little while, and then I'll switch it to, like, early morning. We can have the, the sun coming up and stuff as we get into Cool Addy. I think that'll be pretty neat. So we get to see all of it in one shebang here. Ooh, man, big bumps happening. Doesn't want to get up to speed yet. I'm going to drop it down into fifth. There we go. There, it starts to spin the tires, but we're getting, getting it up to speed here. I wish I knew how heavy this trailer is with everything we have on it because it feels like we're getting uh <laughs> we're getting the worst of it and yeah, we're getting real slow here on this section it's because of the hills so we need to get our speed up a lot more than this this isn't working too well let's drop into this gear here what's up that what's that up there oh i thought i saw something moving up here it scared the hell out of me of that tree right there didn't like that could have been a roo or something run, you know, running across and caught my eye. Ooh, man, it's scary out here at night. It really is. There we go. And if we're going to use four high here. Get our speed up. Ooh, got some some mud. Oh, those are those are big bumps of stuff. Yep, those are big bumps. Feeling those for sure. Feeling those. All right, go, don't go too fast here, Jeff. Slow down a little bit. Oh, we're in, like, deep sand here. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> okay. The challenge is real right now. I'm feeling it. I just don't want to get stuck. I'm going to keep as much speed as I can without spinning the tires too much here. Oh, man. it's I'm f that, that, That's awesome. <laughs> it's so neat to see that because when we did that death road map, you know, we didn't um, really feel any of those big bumps like that. All right, we made it through that section. That was a little, little scary. All right. Now we get our speed back up and running. Okay, I'm gonna change the time, but uh, we'll do a little bit of driving here in the outside view at night so you can see it. I changed the time to five in the morning and as I was changing time I noticed ahead we have a car in the middle of the road so I slowed down quite a bit we're outside of Homebird now this has uh, been an interesting drive for certain but I have had a blast doing this I think we're gonna go around to the left of this car here I assume that they're okay we don't need to check uh, yeah this thing's been here for a while it looks like just wash that left side there. Now, the sun should be coming up very shortly, actually. Wow, man. Yeah, that thing is completely burnt out. Let's make sure we don't slam into it with our trailer. That would be bad. Just switch gears into there. Managing my RPM here. Because we give it too much, we're going to start spinning them tires. And we're not playing spin tires today. We're playing or snow runner even. Playing American Truck Sim. I mean, Australian Truck Simulator. <laughs> All right, so this is home burn here. I'm gonna switch back into the next gear here, up in the fifth. Well, oh. five low. There we go. Yeah, sun should be come up. Should be coming up very soon. Ooh, easy, easy does it. Well, it's nice that they have these little spaces, you know, these little places off side of the road, because, man, if you, you could really destroy your truck on this run near the Opal Field here. That was home burn we were at. Now we're in the home burn Opal Field. What is this sign? Oh, not for us. Again, another little, little outpost here. You can go, you know, work on your truck and stuff. 
Yeah, a little town back there. That's cool. All right, now we get our speed going here again. Come on, baby. The five high. It's going to be so easy on the throttle here to get our speed back up. It's working, though. Then I'm going to drop down into six low. Once we get this thing up to like 1,600 RPM. Oh, big bumps coming up, I have a feeling. Yep, big bumps, big bumps. Just kidding about the speed. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. We're okay. Woof. <laughs> oh my God, dude. This is a hell of a journey. We still have the other side we need to, you know, go to of the map. Haven't been up in the, the north eastern side of the map yet. Came down a little bit on uh, 14, but that was about it. Just say dip. This says grid. Okay. Keep the the dingoes and everything out. Uh, is this a small little? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's slow down here. It's narrow. A little narrow here. Let's just be ready for it. Oh man, this is gonna be tricky. Let's just make sure we don't screw up here. We have no room for error. Just gotta go straight over this little grate. We're all right there. Good. Keep it nice and straight here, dude. We're good. Made it through there. <laughs> if I would have been off just by a little bit, we would have smacked right into that post. That would have sucked. Well, now we're good. So yeah, and I can see why he was talking about, you know, the, the physics on the map because he is giving you the feeling of sand. Like you feel like you're driving on sand some points where like, especially right now, where I'm just easing into that throttle over and over because if you just give it too much, you're just gonna spin the tires over and over like that. So I'm like now three quarters of a, the way in the throttle there. I'm trying to make sure we don't stop because we stop on the sand, we're pretty much done. Pretty much gonna be finished. Big, big bumps right here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a little rough there. That's, that's a, just a little rough. I'm going to try to keep my head as still as possible with the track IR so I wasn't go flailing around. Oh man. Yeah. That was a little rough section right there. Yeah. We see the sky changing color now. It's going to be nice and early morning by the time we get to cool out of here. Slow down. Then you jump into the next gear. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to this gear for right now. I want to keep my RPMs up where they're at. And I'm about half throttle right now. Go easy here. Man, they aren't lying. This is like just straight sand we're in right now. You just tell by the, the way the, the truck's driving that it's in deep sand. Another burnt out car crashed into a tree over here on the right. Yikes. Wouldn't want to be that dude. At all. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. I'm sticking to the middle here. This is super bumpy. All right. This is going to be a rough ride or a few. I'm going to go to the outside view to show you just what is happening with the truck right now.
See what I'm talking about? I'm not kidding. Dude, and we're losing speed. I don't want to get stuck in this sand. Come on, come on, baby. Keep up the speed, keep up the speed. There you go, get some traction where we can. Oops, slow down a little bit more there. I, mean, I don't want to slow down. I'm trying to get this thing to, oh man, we're so screwed. It's just digging down into the, into the sand right now. Maintaining five miles per hour. I don't even know when we're gonna be over this whole section of road, but this is terrible, terrible. As far as that, oh, we're getting our speed back. Okay, we're good. It's a little technical, but we're still all right. Now this is what's cool. The challenge of, you know, driving on a map that throws this at you is pretty amazing. Now we haven't had any damage to suspension or anything. So for the most part, been being smart about speed. I think if you're going in there, we went into this too fast. It would have just shook the truck apart. There we go. Oh my God. I was getting scared there for a second. It's like, we're going to get stuck in the sand. And then what? You know, that wouldn't have been good at all. Okay. We're gonna get a downhill section here. This is gonna help us in speed. I'm gonna get a little bit more speed up here. I'm gonna jump, jump up into five, or sorry, into four low. Oh, we got cows up here. Okay, there's fourth gear there. Try to keep speed going. Cows, don't you pull out in front of us here. Moomoos. <laughs> Bye, Moomoos. I only saw one. I didn't see two there. Oh, man, this little section of road's cool. Got some cutouts here in the rock. Yeah, speed is definitely our friend right now with this road. You don't want to get slower than like what we're doing right now because it just becomes a nightmare, especially with the elevation changes we're dealing with. Okay. Oh, we made it over that section. Now it's downhill. Come on, let's get our speed up here, man. Four high. I'm so happy I had an 18 speed in this thing today. Every little bit of each gear has been used. All right, so this isn't so bad right now. This is actually a pretty decent road. It's definitely sand. You can definitely tell it's still sand, but we're keeping decent speed on it right now. But I literally have to drive this at, like no joke, a quarter to half throttle here and there. Okay, back there, yep. Go underneath these trees. Go a little bit to the left here because our road train's a little tall. I'm going to try to hug right through here. Yep. Yeah, I would have smashed right into it, so I'm glad I did that. Oh, yeah. Now we got a speed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump up into five low. Double clutch that because I'm not going to be floating gears in this, in this again. There's something up here on the right. It might be a drop-off spot. We can see that sun starting to creep through the whole valley. Really cool. Well, not really a valley, I guess. Field. What does this one say? This one says something to the right. Truck entrance. So it's a farm. Look at there. That's cool. A big old farmhouse there. Oof. <laughs> this is so great. I'm glad I chose this run. I mean, it wasn't a run, but I was like, I want to go down this road so bad with a massive road train. Oh, we have another grid coming up. Get ready for it, folks. No joke. Okay, we'll do exactly what we did last time. I want to keep speed though, because we are still on that sand. We might get off the sand, it might be over. This could be the end of the sand. Let's just kind of keep it right here. This is really super narrow. 
Oh man, that is so narrow. <laughs> nope, just kidding. It's still sand. Oh, I was hoping the road's gonna improve and get better. It's almost like it's getting worse. And I'm sorry, this video is gonna go out late tonight. It's just kind of what it is. Because this is taking a lot longer than I expected. I'm already about an hour and seven minutes right now of recording. Uh, so probably roughly about an hour of driving I've done. But I don't care how long this video is going to be. Because I'll have some editing, you know, spots here and there on it. But I, I want it to be long because it's this is just a really cool experience. And I don't want to miss out. Or I don't want to cut out too much. Because this is just really, really immersive. All right. I think a lot of the people that are from Australia are going to be happy. We have a right hand drive super liner today. Oh yeah. Now we're getting some speed. That's what's been killing us. Just the speed. The trip isn't like that long because we were like starting to get closer to our destination, but man, no. Nope. What does it say? It says we're... Oh, we're five minutes out. Okay, we're almost to Cool Addy. Perfect timing. Yeah, this could be like almost an hour long video. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, this is getting... Oh, all sorts of stuff happening here. What is all this? Slow down, slow down. Rocks. Lots of rocks here. Oh my heavens, look at this. Look at this. Got to go all the way left. Oh, this is bad for the trailer and everything else. These rocks. Oh, this is bad. Come on, baby. You got it. You got it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. You got it. Oh, come on, baby. You got it. Come on. Just crawling in first gear here. Nope, nope, nope. Spinning the tires. Come on, get a little bit of get a little bit of grip. All right, let's try the diff lock. That'll help. Nice and smooth. Diff lock's helping. Oh, she's spinning the tires. Let's try low, low here. Come on. Nice and easy. There it goes. Oh, no, 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 no. Spin the tires off, off that. I have to go real slow here. Come on. Oh, man. It is just stuck. Look at this. Yeah, this incline is not helping us at all. Uh, we're going to come back there, and I want to see if the trailer's stuck on a rock or something. So we have these rocks here off to the right, but they don't seem like they're like we're hitting any of these. So we're good there. Now, back here, we're hitting these rocks. So maybe if we roll back a little bit, It'll get off the rocks and we can get another run at it. I'm not sure. Yeah, same thing on the right side. We're just kind of hitting those rocks there. But I mean, there wasn't a whole lot we could do about that at all. Well, let's try rolling back a little bit and then try to get another run at it um, without, you know, kinking the whole lineup too much. Oh, man, this is this has been interesting. I gotta roll back a little bit here. There you go. Like that. That's good. All right, let's get it in low, low. And I'm just going to kind of creep here with this. So I'm going to pull the parking brake. I don't want to lose that. And release it. Oh, it's just nothing, man. Nothing. It's just killing it over and over. Well, for the sake of this video, we're going to cheat and get ourselves out of this mess. We're going to call up somebody with a tractor to pull us forward. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Low, low, a little bit more. We still on a rock back there? No, we're good. You just got to go easy here in this section. There we go. Wow. I mean, we got this close to Cool Addy, and then we ran into that nonsense with our trailer. It just didn't, didn't go so hot. We'll go real easy here through these rocks. So the challenge is a bit much right here for, for something like you know, a road train of this size. All right, I'm... A, 
I'm sure it was because we ran into those rocks with the trailer. It just, it couldn't get over the rocks. It tried. It just wasn't happening at all. Okay. We we're very close to our destination. It's just, man, we are getting beat up right now at this last section of the road. Just switch into this gear here. We're still spinning tires, even in one high. <laughs> I'm going to drop it down into a second. I want that lower RPM. And hopefully we don't hit those rocks back there with the train. That train's still in that corner. There we go. Wow, man. I'm using too high. I'm using, I'm using one low, one high, two high, low, low. All the gears in the world today. There we go. Now we got our speed back. We'll turn our high beams off. Don't need them on anymore. This has been a amazing drive today, hasn't it? It really has. Oh, I see an antenna up there. I think that's cool laddie right there. I think we're there. I think we're all good. Oh, the road is so much better over here. We're not in that sand anymore. Thank God. I feel like I'm using the engine to its potential. <laughs> oh, you can see it popping up on the GPS. The town of Cool Addy. <laughs> Show these rocks. Just a little bit to the left there. We're fine. Oh my God, we're in six low. Can you believe it? I can't. Pretty amazed myself. We're doing almost 40 kilometers an hour now. Oh, we have the grid up here, but it's a wide grid. It's not the big, it's not the real small one. It's a little intense there. For sale. You can get yourself a little homestead there if you want to. That's cool. I'm so glad I decided to have like, you know, a big massive dinner before recording this today. It just shakes me up. <laughs> Holy moly, we made it, folks. We made it to Cool Addy. <laughs> We have one more grid here, and then this is 14 right there. There's the cars and trucks going down the road. He's our Jake a little bit here. Okay, we got to cross the road here. There's the gas station I was telling you about. This is a really tiny grid here as well. Careful each side of that. All right, and we're good. Keep it rolling, buddy. Whoa, there's a roo over there. Was that a roo? I'm going to look that in uh, in post and see. Oh, oh what is it? Those kangaroos? Some, yeah, there is something down there back and forth. You see it? What in the hell is it? They're kangaroos. Two of them. You just can't get down there because that's past the point of the, the map. But they're right there. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to go go check these things out. Let's do that. Well, let's cross the road first here. Sorry, there's a car coming. My bad. I want to show you this little gas station here and stuff, which is just like the real thing. Right there. Check that out. The fox trap. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'm going to pull up here. Neat roadhouse, man. All right, I'm going to pull over here. Let's go check out the, the kangaroos and the sights. So we're still sticking out in the road a little bit there. We're going to pull it up a little bit more. There they go. 
Now they're going to be happy. <laughs> Let's get it all the way out of the road. There we go. That'll be perfect. There they are. Look at him. He's running towards me right now. There he goes. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, truck, you're going to smash into a row. <laughs> he split him. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, my God. How great is that? There's our truck over there. You can still see it. Let's take a little bit of a walk here, and we can check out all of the, the custom modeling that was done here at this roadhouse. I'm going to do that. You see all the, the neat stuff in this map, man. It's really something special. Around the corner here, old gas pump. There it is there. The Fox Trap. The Cool Laddie Roadhouse. Right there. A little thing. I oh, there's a person out here. Hey, how you doing? Well, we went through absolute hell today. How you doing today? Uh, Beer, 99 cents. Oh, that's a steal. Soda, 149. And Delhi is 199. Post office is here. Because it is the only, it's the town, it, it is an actual town in Australia. It's just these three people that live here. So accommodation, you got uh, your gifts, souvenirs, meals, burgers, sandwiches, pies, drinks, ice creams, cold takeaway beer. Takeaway beer, everybody. And it's a motel as well. Motorcycle out here. Very cool modeling done. Look at that Foxtrap Motel. <laughs> oh, man. Such a neat, neat map and experience. Okay, let's head over here to the house, and I'm sure I'm going to get questions, and that is how did I get out of the truck and walk around. There's no walk around mode or anything like that. You have to have the console enabled in your config file, and then once you do, you just hit the zero key. And then once you are on the zero key, you're pretty much good to go because you use your numpad to move around. You use the mouse wheel to speed up and slow down. But I already know I'm going to get asked that question. So I'm going to get ahead of it. So yeah, the, our destination is down here on the left. We made it. Rue crossing. Well, we didn't really... We weren't... I don't think we would have actually made it because we were stuck on those rocks. Like, I could have gotten towed. Or I could have, uh, you know, backed up further and tried another run at it. But it's really hard to say. I just, you know, I didn't want to st sit there forever trying to get that to work. So it's 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 challenging, man. That run between the Opals and then all the way up to Cool Addy was not messing around. Now, if you're going the other way, it wouldn't be so bad because you're going downhill. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. See, so this is the garage up here on the left, but you can see there's no garage prefab. It's a house. It's so neat how he modeled this. What does it say here? It says 20. Oh, railroad crossing. Very cool. And we're going to pull in right over here at this house so you can have a look at it. Yeah, there's a railroad crossing right there. That's neat. Give ourselves plenty of room. This is very bumpy over here. Some people hanging out. You can sleep right here. They're all hanging out with in front of their RVs. Come around this way. And we're gonna get a good look at our own train here. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, and see, this is the garage. Pretty darn cool. We're just gonna go ahead and park it right here for now. That'll work for me. Let's go ahead and shut it off. Before we get out of here, I can show you all the mods that we were using here. So the Australian Outback map, you get that one and you throw it in at the very top. That's what he told me to do. So we're using that. I use this start XP level money sheet thing. You can't just throw that in and get money. Uh, it has to be on a new profile when you create it. I talked about it in the first video if you want to check that out. Uh, realistic Mirror FOV icons. Engine sound pack by Creech Bomb. Uh, 3.4. That is the one that works with the, uh, the fix for that... T408 I drove last time. Uh, wind noise and all this stuff. So all the Z mod stuff. And then we haven't done this one yet. The burn lives, uh, livestock. I do want to try that one out. Um, it's KSW pain mods. And it's going to be awesome. But we have to level up to use it. Uh, SWR's custom 
uh, tippers there. We have the Max Superliner today by KI Shadow Walker mods. Then uh, that was the T408 we drove last time. And then T610 uh, is down here, as you can see. But um, the trailer we used today was the Ophi Scale Trailers by uh, good old SWR as well. So that's what we're using. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. I will see you all next time. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description, or you can just click right here on this video, and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.